Mother's Day less than two weeks away, it's time to plan brunch and today we're going to learn how to make blueberry huckle buckle. Sounds delicious. It's one of Lori Green's all time favorite recipes. Lori is the owner of Elizabeth Richard Gifts in Waterbury. So is this a recipe that's been passed through the ages, Lori? It is. It was passed down to me from my grandmother. Um, I had to go to meet my husband's family for the very first time when we were dating. Is and this what you brought? It is. I went to my <laughs> grandmother and I'm not much of a baker. I don't like to bake. I like to cook. Um, and I went to her and I said, geez, I got to bring something to Arthur's uh, family's house. What can I make? So she pulled this recipe out of her, uh, her little recipe box and she said, we're going to make this together. And I've been making it ever since. I love that. I might steal it from you. That's a great idea. Oh, you can anytime. <laughs> uh, so we're talking Mother's Day and my mother says the best thing for Mother's Day is to clean up afterwards. It's great if you make the brunch, but do her a favor and clean up. That would be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that, every mother would appreciate that. All right, Laura, show us how to make the huckle buckle. The huckle buckle is very easy, Teresa. I've already started up um, our butter and our sugar creaming here. And um, to that, once it's nice and uh, creamed together and mixed together, we're just going to add one egg. Okay. And we use um, one stick of butter okay. and we use three quarters of a cup of sugar in here. So now we're going to add the one egg. Going to mix that up. Okay. And then we're going to add a cup of milk. Okay. And I've used whole milk in the recipe today. That's probably the way to go when baking, right? I think so. I've also been known to mix um, half whole milk and half light cream just to mm -hmm. make it a little bit richer. But today, to save some calories, I just use the whole milk. Okay. And we're going to mix that up. And then once that comes, uh, comes together, we're going to add two cups of flour. Okay. And you always want to add your flour slowly because you don't want it to go all over the you place. You don't want a disaster in the kitchen. And believe me, I know that from experience. <laughs> Lori, while you're adding uh, the flour the rest of the ingredients here, tell me about uh, your store. You have just about anything in there. We do. We have something for everybody from um, baby goods to cooking items to tabletop. Um, we've got beautiful jewelry, some great um, accessories for ladies. We've got clothes for guys. We've got vineyard vines for guys. Mm -hmm. um, so no matter what you need, you can feel free to come in and we'll hook you up. Even if you need wedding invitations, you yeah, have that too. <laughs> we, we do. We have some beautiful wedding invitations from Crane, from Emily yes. Post, from some others as well. One of the few places I could still find engraved invitations. And we were glad that you stopped in. <laughs> so I also added some baking powder. I added some salt. And then I'm going to add a splash of vanilla. Okay. And I use always a good quality vanilla. And actually we do sell this at the store as well. So we really truly do have everything at the store. And then the last thing once this um, gets all mixed in, we're going to put in our blueberries. And we're going to be very careful when we're mixing our blueberries, Teresa. We don't want to crush them, so we're not going to mix them for very long. Okay. We're just going to mix them long enough just to get them incorporated into the batter. And then we're going to turn it off. We're going to put it into our greased pan. Okay. Um, I like to put it into the round cake pan. You can always also use a square cake pan. We're going to bake that at 350 for 45 minutes. Okay. Um, and then it is going to smell absolutely wonderful. Oh, there's also a little cinnamon topping that we're going to put on it. Oh, great. What's so. that all about? A little butter, cinnamon? Yeah, it's butter, <laughs> flour, um, cinnamon, and sugar. Okay. And we just mix it in the mixer um, just to get it crumbly. And we're going to put it right on the top. We're going to throw this into the oven. Spread that out a little bit. I feel like this is great if you're doing dessert, if you're doing a brunch, this could go either way. Absolutely. It is absolutely delicious for a dessert. Um, for a dessert, you can serve us a little bit of homemade whipped cream or even store-bought whipped cream, whichever is easier for you. Um, and maybe a little sprig of a mint leaf or something, and it makes a very pretty presentation. And it's just one of those nice old-fashioned desserts. Yeah. So there we go. We're all set to put that into the oven. Okay. We see the finished product over here, and it's just lovely. You seem to have it with a, a yogurt parfait, Lori? We do. Well, I decided that I would bring some other brunch ideas with yeah. me. Sure. Just some simple things that you can do, because nobody wants to be stuck in the kitchen. I love it on Mother's Day. My husband will say to me, um, oh, we're going to do something. We're going to have a brunch for Mother's Day. And then I end up doing all the preparation for him, because he's totally clueless, clueless in the kitchen. <laughs> so I try to make some easy things. So like my huckle buckle, and you saw it. It only took 10 minutes yeah, to prepare. Yeah, that was easy. Um, I also, um, I love to do a little bit of yogurt parfait. I like that Greek yogurt, um, the, the unsweetened. So mm -hmm. I take a little bit of uh, agave or a little bit of truvia sweeten it up, put a little um, fresh berry, some granola, and you've got a nice little dish there that's nice and healthy. Okay. Don't be ashamed to um, call up your local bakery and grab some baked goods from them. You don't have to cook everything yourself. Sure. This is your day too. Get so you get some muffins, some scones, some bagels, what have you. 
Do not forget the mimosas. Most important part. Mom loves mimosas. <laughs> Trust me on this All one. Right, and get a nice, good quality champagne, too. All right, great. I know you're having a Mother's Day brunch event at the store. We are. We're having a Mother's Day brunch this Saturday um, from 10 to 2. You can come in and sample some of our, our delicious Mother's Day brunch ideas. We also have a great little cookbook that we put together oh, from um, the employees at the store. Everybody has given me their favorite brunch recipe, and we put it all together for you. So come on in. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of good stuff for you. Sounds great, Lori. Thank you so much, and thanks for the recipe. Thanks, Teresa. Uh, Elizabeth Richard Gifts is located at 951 Chase Parkway. It's right off exit uh, 17 of I-84 on the Middlebury Waterbury line. You can call 203-754-4438 or visit elizabethrichardgifts.com. You're also on Facebook. You're dappling with Twitter. We'll I'm find you. More. Yes, you will. <laughs> All right, coming up next downstairs, Sally recently dropped by for a performance over on stage eight. We'll share that when Style returns. Like a siren song, your voice came and sung me back to sleep. She got that bebop fluff flowing from way up on the treetop. She got that bebop fluff flowing from way up on the treetop. She got that bebop fluff flowing from way up on the treetop. She got that bebop fluff flowing from way up on the treetop.